Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and today we will see what is a unique constraint in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is what is a unique constraint in SQL Server. So a unique constraint is a database object that ensures that the values of a specified column or set of columns are unique within a table. It helps maintain the data integrity by preventing duplicate values from being inserted or updated in the SQL table. The syntax of the unique constraints is alter table, table name, add constant, constant name, unique and then the list of columns on which you want to create the unique constants. So for example you can create the unique constants on single column or on multiple columns as well. So let's see how we can add the unique constants on a SQL Server table. So let's jump to the demo. I got a customer table here which contains ID, first name, last name and the email column. So I want to create a unique constants on the email column. So to create a constants we can write a query alter table and the table name which is customer then add constraint and now the constant name so maybe I can call the constants name is uq unique and the email okay and uh, then we need to type unique and now we need to provide the list of columns so I want to make the unique constants on the email column so I can just provide the name of the column here and I can execute this particular query so the query ran fine so if I write sp underscore help customer and if I execute this particular query then so here inside the index name you can see an index uq underscore email non clustered unique unique key located on primary ok so what happens actually it internally creates a unique index on this particular table ok customer table so if you want to check the indexes then you can write sp underscore help index and then you can type customer the table name and if you execute this one so you can see a index here ok that got created on the email column so now an constants has been created a unique constants on the email table so now when you will try to insert the data into the customer table then the email column should be unique and if you will try to insert the two emails with the same value then it won't allow you to insert the two email with the same name okay so let me just try to insert a record here insert into customer values so the first name I can write like Akil and the last name I can provide as Ahmad okay and the email I can provide as like akil33 at gmail.com okay and I can just select this query and I can click on execute so a record has been added here okay now let me just copy and paste the same query and now let me change this particular value and I can write like Rahul and I can change the last name to Kumar and suppose if I provide the same value like Akil33 if I use the same email address then this query should fail because there is a unique constraint on the email column so if I execute this query then you can see that violation of unique key constants uq underscore email cannot insert duplicate key in the object dbo.customer the duplicate key value is this one Akil33 at gmail.com so the unique constraint is preventing duplicate data to be inserted into the SQL server table now suppose if you will just change this email address and if you will rerun the query then the data should be inserted correctly ok now if I select the data again so you can see that a new record got inserted here and the email address is different so here you saw that like how we can add a unique constraints to a SQL server table so there are some benefits of using the unique constraints in SQL server the first benefit is the data integrity so unique constants ensures that the data in a table is accurate and consistent by preventing the duplicate values. Now the second one is the performance. So it can improve the performance by enabling the database to quickly locate the specific rows because you saw that it created an index on the email column. So I think that's it for today's video and I will share all the script used in this particular video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much